All right, hey, what's up guys? This is Lucas here. So today I have a very exciting video. So this set of cubes in front of me is very important to me. And if you haven't already guessed, this set includes all of my previous main speed cubes. So from about 2010 to 2011, uh, all the way up to 2017 right now. So I actually had quite a bit of fun going through all my old cubes because uh, I had to do quite a bit of digging to get all these. But yeah, it was a pretty cool experience for me and I thought I'd share these cubes with you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. So the very first cube is a Rubik's brand. I believe it was originally a Transformers cube, uh, but I did replace it with uh, Shang N stickers. Uh, like the, I think they're F1 stickers or something like that. But yeah, this is a Rubik's brand, uh, and its performance is actually super nice. So I remember I had two Rubik's brands, but this was the one that I really started to speed cube on. Like I knew how to solve the cube for quite a while. But I really remember starting to time myself on this cube right here. So that's pretty cool. So this really... Even though it's not supposed to be a main speed cube, I use it as a main speed cube. Like, I even put cooking oil on this, I think. Uh, but the performance isn't terrible, but it's also not very good. And uh, this numbering is just to make it like a number cube, because that interested me back then. But, yeah, so, pretty cool. It's also gray, so that's nice. Okay, the next cube. So... I actually received two Guhongs uh, as my tr uh, first true speed cubes, uh, but this one was the one that I chose to be my main. And right out of the box, like I remember dropping like 30 seconds in my time. Like this cube was that much better. And uh, since then, I've modified it like I did an Elite mod. Like that mod took, I remember, like four hours. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But the performance on this actually is really good. And uh, I don't even think there's lubricant in here. That's, I mean, it was ready to go straight out of the box. So yeah, really good cube. The Guhong really changed uh, speed cubing hardware. Uh, but I remember like just a couple weeks after or so, I got this Lubix Guhong. I remember Felix set the world record on this, and I really wanted to get my hands on one. And I actually got this a couple days before my first competition, and uh, it was my instant main out of the box, because like I said, this cube was not lubricated yet. Um, but yeah, Lubix did kind of like a premium service back in the day, so that's why a lot of my previous mains were Lubix. Um, but yeah, this cube turns fantastically, and, uh, yeah, it served me very well. It was my first speed cube that I used in competition. So, yeah, really cool. Okay, so the next speed cube is the Lubix Zanchi. This is actually an original plastic Zanchi. So I remember at, uh, U.S. Nationals 2011, I used this cube, but right at the same time, the Diane Zanchi came out. Uh, but I just waited so that I could get my hands on a Lubix version. And uh, I remember being very happy with its performance. And honestly, this thing is so smooth. I mean, you can just see how much practice I did based on the, like, chips of the stickers. Uh, but yeah, this cube, I used it for quite a long time. And it really served me well. I think I used this for actually over a year maybe. I mean it, it was my main for quite a while and uh, that was back when I was practicing a lot. So this cube has to have had like thousands of saws or so. I don't know. But yeah, really cool cube. The next cube is a Lubix Guhong version 2. Uh, this was the first Lubix cube uh, with the new logo, the first one that I got. 
Um, but yeah, this was just an update to uh, Guhong V1. Uh, just basically a bit smoother and uh, yeah, it's buttery smooth, just a bit better performance. And yeah, I remember I this was right around when I was starting to get sub 10 singles. I actually sent my first sub 10 in competition on this cube. Uh, so that's really cool. Big milestone right there. And uh, yeah, the performance is still great. It's buttery smooth. Um, this was probably Diane's last good 3x3. Three three. Um, but yeah, before that, Diane was really ahead of the game. Um, but yeah, I mean... Again, I really liked this cube when I was using it and uh, served me well. I think it uh, got me all the way down to sub 10. I remember uh, I got my first sub, I remember I got my first sub 10 average of 12 on this cube. I actually filmed it, <laughs> but I didn't have my YouTube channel at the time. So, you know. So after that came the Fang Kun period for me. Um, so basically I just used a Fang Kun for like, I guess two or three years. It was absolutely insane. But if you don't know what a Fang Kun is, if you don't already know what a Fang Kun is, it's basically just a Zanchi, uh, but with the same soft plastic that the uh, original plastic Zanchis had. So, it was just as smooth and it felt relatively similar and uh but yeah this is the Zanchi uh very similar mechanisms and uh that's kind of why I liked it but there was one modification that you had to do you had to swap the hardware for Dian hardware because the stock Fang Kun hardware just wasn't quite up to it wasn't up to par but um after that modification it's a great cue uh, very very smooth I think this one was this was not my uh, NAR cube but it got me very far I think I I used it all the way up until Worlds 2013 or so I remember getting this right before Worlds 2013 so I think I was consistently averaging sub 10 when I uh, finally put this cube down. So, yeah, really helped me reach that sub 10 mark. So like I said, next I got this puzzle right before the World Championship in 2013. And this cube, this is probably, this is one of the most memorable mains because it was the one where I set my first continental record, my, actually my yeah, I set my first 3x3 record on this, and I got all the way down to 7.52 average, I believe. So, really cool. I also used this cube for my first 5 in competition. So, that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, this one got a lot more solves than this did. Uh, but it, they feel relatively the same. Same stickers and everything. They look really similar. But, unfortunately, Fankun changed the plastic. So, that was really the end of the Fang Kun uh, is my main once this died. But then came the Aolong version 2. This cube is the world record cube. Most of you guys probably know that I used this puzzle for quite a while. Helped me win US Nationals 2016. Like I said, set the world record at River Hill Fall 2015. So yeah, it got me a couple 3x3 three three NARs, 3x3 three three world record, and yeah, I the cube is still excellent. I can definitely get really good times on this puzzle still. I think I was averaging about mid-7 when I finally put this cube down. Uh, but yeah, that was actually really recently, so... Um, but it really didn't die a whole lot. I mean... It, it was getting to the point, I mean, I really needed a new main, like I was switching, 
Like I was switching between this and the GTS very briefly. But yeah, this cube's really awesome. So then the Valk 3 was released. This cube I didn't actually use for very long uh, because of a reason that I'll get into in a bit. But the first competition that I used this cube, I got like three mids or three sub eight averages and an NAR average. So it's definitely very good and uh, I still get great times on it. And yeah, it's probably one of my best non-magnetic cubes. So really like this puzzle and yeah. So then came the magnets and the GTSM, the cubicle GTSM. Uh, this puzzle, it's a bit slow since I don't use it much, actually, but it's turning very good. Unfortunately, this cube didn't really work out for me uh, when I used it in competition, but I did set several PBs on this cube, uh, and they still stand today, actually, some of them, and that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I really like this cube. It really uh, introduced me to magnets and speed cubes oh yeah pretty cool and then finally to the Valk 3m this puzzle is my current main and i really like it its magnets feel a bit weaker than the ones that are in the gts and uh, also this cube is set up very well and that's pretty much why i use it i also really like the Valk so magnets just helped it keep a little bit more consistent speed. But yeah, I really enjoyed this puzzle. I actually haven't used this cube in competition, but I do have a couple competitions coming up uh, next month actually. So really excited to see how my times are on this puzzle. But yeah, um, that's about it. So I had a lot of fun going through all these cubes and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you want to see more of my cubing stories or old cubes or something like that, uh, just let me know in the comments or like the video. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching.